Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 3. Well, Admiral Tallwin is on board now, and that can't be good for Christopher Blair. However, having him on board um, really means that the plot is going somewhere, because, I mean, why else would an admiral come to a, just a regular Confederate ship? So, something big is about to happen, so get ready, viewers, because we are about to witness one of my absolute favorite scenes in the entire game, and this is quite, quite... Uh, an epic video. Enjoy. Welcome, Colonel. As you may or may not know, we are currently en route to the Torgo system, where we will rendezvous with destiny. Gentlemen, I give you the Confederation's finest achievement, the behemoth. After a decade of secret research and development, our greatest minds have created the device that will spell doom for the Kilrathi. Behemoth is a series of linked, superconducting energy amplification conduits, focusing an output of 500 million gigawatts into one lancing point. Any target at the end of that point is destroyed. Even a planet? Yes, Captain. Even a planet. Would have liked another year or two for testing and development, but unfortunately, circumstances have forced me to deploy the weapon now. And might I ask why, Admiral? Well, you should know the answer to that more than anyone else, Colonel. The classified and bitter truth is that Confed has been losing the war this past year. If the current trend continues, the Kilrathi will be walking on the Earth in six months, maybe less. So, the behemoth must be pressed into service earlier than anticipated. Because of this accelerated deployment, the ship's defensive systems are... How can I put this? Uh, somewhat incomplete. There are a few... Uh, soft spots located here and here. Where the shields are thin, there's been no time to complete keel mounts or laser turrets. I expect you to be especially aware of these areas, Colonel. It'll be your job to protect and defend this ship. This should be looked upon as the Confederation's last-ditch effort to win the war outright. Yes? Yes, thank you. I understand. Thank you. Well, the download is complete. We have arrived at Torgo, gentlemen, where I had hoped for a nice smooth rendezvous with the behemoth. But as is their wont, the Kilrathi have spoiled the party. Colonel, this is undoubtedly the most important mission you've ever flown in your life. You must defend the behemoth at all costs. I want a magnum launch. All fighters up. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Whoa, I don't even get a chance to pick my wingman, or my ship. Wow, this, this is getting serious, folks. All right, here we go. F1, CF. Did you see that behemoth? Man, 500 million gigawatts? That's insane. Wow. This, this is great. All right. See, we've got a couple packed vans, and wait, where are those Strakas? Hmm. It's all right. All right, Flint, go get them. Well, although I don't have the, the missiles that I want, obviously I would like to have uh, the full recog uh, image recognition missiles on all, but, hey, at least I have a good wingman, or a wing woman in this case. I'll take Flint all day long. Whoa, there's the Strakas. All right. So you're going to want to take out those Straka fighters first. Just, uh... Just because it can be kind of annoying. And if a Straka happens to disappear, one of the pack bands should be coming towards you. Yeah, so you can start going after it. Now, remember for the pack bands, you're going to want to match speed. Get to about... Uh-oh. Hello. Get to about 337 uh, clicks. And then just follow right behind it and take it out. There we go. Now, you got to be careful because those Strakas can sometimes sneak up on you. And you want to be at full speed when you take care of, when you take out the Strakas. Okay, where is it? Come on. Yeah. Got it. 
Okay, and there's a pack then. We'll go after it. Right, where's that Strocker? Oh, never mind. Well, we got him. Alright. And there's one more pack then. And by double team, this won't take too long. Boom! Oh! Nice. Good job, Flint. Alright, how are we doing? Ooh, taking some damage already. That's not good. That's alright. On to the next zone. But where's the behemoth? I can't shake this cat. Flash? What are you doing here? Okay, we have two back toss and two pack fans. The good thing is we have Primate and Flash to help us. So really we have I said I really have four people for four ships. So I mean this really shouldn't take too long. So what we're gonna want to do now is just wait to see which ships come after us. And uh, start going after them. Now Ideal. Okay, sorry. Clint, go ahead. Now, ideally, you're gonna to want to go after the pack fans first because they're easier to kill. So let's see if there's a pack fan that's near us. Nope, oh, looks like they got one of the pack fans already. Cool. So yeah, uh, the good thing about this again is you have uh, four wingmen, so you, know, you can just spread out your attacks evenly. Now remember, don't let the back toss run into you because if you do, your your ship's not gonna be in good shape. And unfortunately, we don't have reach muscles to take them out. So the other good thing is once uh, some of them go down. Uh, you can just have them turn around and come back and help you out. So that's kind of really helpful. And uh, now, remember, Flash won't, uh, he won't do what you ask him to do, unfortunately, but Primate and Flint will. So if you're ever having issues, just, uh, just you know, use them for help. Hey, leave me alone. That was going to be my kill. Eh, whatever. I'll take it. I'll take anything in this zone, really. Just because, oh, might as well. But I don't like dealing with these back toss and pack fans without leech missiles. Well, the pack fans I can deal with, but not the back toss. The back toss, I want to have leech missiles. Yes, got it. Whoa. What do we got here? Man, another wave. Wait. Okay, two more back toss and two more pack fans. Same strategy, viewers. Now, let me let me show you Primate helping us out. Back my target. So, pack fan, or he's just a. Uh, actually, I want to attack this one instead. Back my target. Yeah, Primate is just kind of a just a generic guy that was created by Wing Commander. So, no worries there. Okay, so these are the same enemies as before. So we'll uh, take them out and be right back. Alright. And with again, with four people in one zone, this makes this easy. So hey, now what? Another wave of the exact same fighters. Okay, be right back. Hey, all right, we accomplished our mission objective, but yet there's still more fighters. Oh, yeah, I can't figure this one out. And it's the same wing gears. Okay, actually, it's the, the last two waves. is actually just two more waves of the same thing, two uh, back toss and two pack fans. So let me oh, uh, let me uh, just take care of those two waves, and I'll uh, let you know when we're all done with that. Um, if anything really cool happens, like I get a really cool kill, whoa, that was close. Don't let the pack fans run into you. Uh, then I'll show it to you. But other than that, I'll just meet you when all five waves of fighters are done. All right. That should be all of them. Excellent. Nice job, everybody. All right. On to the final zone. Or hopefully the final zone. But where is that behemoth? Oh, man. Now what do we got here? Looks like just two pack fans. All right. They should be able to handle this. No problem. We'll just let him do that. So then we have uh, Vagabond there and Stig. Vagabond's okay, by the way. They just, just said they could use some help because, well, they just... Whoa! Ah, where'd these guys come from? A couple more striker fighters. All right. Die. Ah. Now, again, normally I don't use, recommend using missiles on the strikers, but... Eh, why not? It's it's a short and it's cheap, so it might as well fire. Ah, crap. Where do you go? Again, these I think this is the last zone, so it doesn't really matter if you use missiles or not. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Boom! And that should be it. Excellent. All right, on to the final zone. Oh ho ho! What's your status? No damage yet, Colonel. And there is the mighty behemoth. 
Okay, and that's it. We just had to rendezvous, rendezvous with the behemoth, and we're good to go. Let's land. Need clearance, TCF Victory. Colonel, you've just confirmed my belief that you and the Victory were the correct choices for this undertaking. The behemoth requires some light maintenance prior to moving out, so we won't be leaving this system just yet. That's all right. But again, that's a really easy mission, viewers. You just gotta let all your wingmen do the job and sit back and enjoy the victory. You really smoked him, Colonel. Thanks, Chief. All right, viewers, and we are now done with the second CD. Man, the third CD, by the way, is very, very intense. You're really going to enjoy it. But unfortunately, I'm out of time, so we will begin the third CD next time. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.